Well, good morning from Dallas. I'm super glad to be back in Dallas, but kind of hoping it'd be a little warmer. Luke, we had to look over the holidays, but we did find some colder weather for you to remind you of Dallas. So welcome back to Grace, and it's great to have you here today. Walt Matheny was texting me throughout the week telling me about the temperatures in Dallas, and I thought, that sounds wonderful. I can't wait to get back. Very funny, Dallas. Very funny. <laughs> Even though it's been super cold, we had a great time uh, hanging out with the people at Grace Bible Church on Sunday. It was such a cool privilege to be able to preach there and connect with so many folks. We've had a pretty busy week this week. Um, right before we left Dallas to go to New Hampshire, we discovered that uh, we were having an issue with the front end of the motorhome. Today, we have to get the RV in the shop. Nothing big this time, but I discovered that the front end is out of line. Uh, somehow it got knocked out of alignment and one of the front tires was wearing really, really bad on the side, so. See that? So, it's down to secondary rubber there, oh, on the side. Uh, and I have been checking the tires regularly. I've been checking the outside mostly, watching for dry rot, that kind of thing, making sure they have enough pressure in them. We're gonna get that fixed today. We're gonna put new tires on there, get the alignment done, and then actually replace the airbags and the front end suspension. Once we get that done, we should be good to go. So then once we got that fixed, we ended up actually spending a couple days at a campground just outside of Dallas. Uh, normally we're staying in Walmarts and Cracker Barrels and that kind of thing. Um, that kind of thing is a little bit more difficult to pull off here in Dallas, but it was, it, was, it was a real blessing actually to be in a campground for a couple days. The kids had a great playground that they could play at and it was actually a great place to get a couple days of rest. So really grateful to the Lord for that. After that, we, we came back down closer to downtown Dallas and we've actually been boondocking here at Dallas. Seminary for the past two nights. It's supposed to be 60 today. I hope that's true. Even if it's a little dreary out, I'll, I'll take the warmer temperatures. Good morning from, we're in Glen Rose, Texas. We had a great time in Dallas. It was a busy, busy time. The Omicron variant kind of interrupted our plans a little bit here. We didn't get to connect with everybody that we wanted to, but we did get to see a lot of people. And it was just so encouraging to spend this time uh, in Dallas. Dallas is a city that has just been so, so good to us. I think probably one of the highlights though, and I didn't even hear about this until I think it was yesterday when Becca told me about it. The 2nd of January, we preached at Grace Bible Church, and then January 9th, we preached at another one of our supporting churches in Garland, Texas, which is actually a Spanish-speaking church. It was super fun to be with them. Love that church. But man, what a blessing afterwards. Rebecca told me that somebody came up to her after the service and told her that the last time we had spoken there, which is probably about two and a half years ago, this lady's son uh, heard us and, and then ended up feeling a call to, to go into ministry. I, <laughs> you know, it doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't get any better than that. And that's really one of the big purposes of making these videos too, is, is hopefully someone we'll see what life is like for us on the mission field and think, you know what, I can do that. <laughs> because the truth is, you can do that. A lot of you, as you think about missions, you think, ah, I couldn't do that, I couldn't. Yes, you could, yes, you could. Not because you have what it takes. I don't have what it takes. But because if God has called you to do it, <laughs> he'll equip you. He's gonna give you what you need. And that has certainly been the case for us. After we finished preaching on Sunday, we, we got ready to leave Dallas. We made one quick stop at 
uh, a place where we could see a beautiful view of the cityscape and then we headed down here to Glen Rose and we came here to have a, just a couple days of rest. This is a beautiful state park here. I remember hearing about it when we lived in Dallas but never, never got here. But this is called Dinosaur Valley State Park. It's a place where there are actually some footprints of dinosaurs. So of course, you know, the kids love that. It's definitely starting to feel like our time in the States is winding down. You know, we've been here longer than we planned to, frankly, kind of longer than we wanted to as well, but we had to delay a little bit because all the stuff going on in Haiti. But the plans are coming together for us to return and it's gonna be it's gonna be before we know it. I'm not gonna be specific on the date of our return here, just for security reasons. But if you're a supporter of ours, we'll we'll let you know in our Facebook group for supporters. Uh, we'll let you know exactly when that's gonna be, but it's coming up. And in one sense, things do, things do feel a little bit uncertain um, in, terms of, in terms of Haiti, anyway. Our last home ministry assignment was 2018, and we got back to Haiti in January, and, and it was literally 10 days later after we got back that, that the country erupted in, in chaos and really hasn't recovered since then. So I don't know... So I don't know what we're going back to. It seems probably most likely that we're gonna be going back to some more chaos, that it's gonna be a rough road. But we have learned some great lessons over the past couple of years about the faithfulness of God. And so honestly, although things feel uncertain, we're not nervous, we're not, we're not worried at all. And, and I know that may seem strange to some of you, but we're not. And the reason is because we, we really have a, a a deeper trust in the sovereignty of God. We have seen him do amazing things over the past couple years. And and I know some of you may hear that and you think, well, people say that they trust in the sovereignty of God. That's just a cop out. It may be for some, but man, we have walked it. We have learned it. God is sovereign. He's in control. And because that's true, we don't have any reason to be worried. In fact, to be honest with you, we're a little bit excited. It can be tempting right now as, as it feels like the world is upside down and it feels like everybody has lost their minds. It, it can be tempted to say, you know, I, I'm just gonna press a pause button here for a minute. I need to, no. Because what, what we've found over these past couple years is that when the times are the most difficult, God does some of his most exceptional work. What have you guys thought of this park? It's really cool. Yeah? Uh -huh. yes. What do you got there, cake? Nice. <laughs> what are you thinking of the cold? I'm done. I am so done with Zero the cold. Zero out of 10 recommendations. No, yeah. The high, the forecasted high for today is 65 here in this day park gonna be looks like about the same down in Austin so we're gonna leave Glen Rose right now heading down to Austin gonna connect with our friends down there love you guys so much thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one